Dear Edith, you foxy Carry on. You really are a tricksy old And you're a sad, stinky In the end, I think it's just jealousy. So, Wicked Little Letters uh, is a true story of Rose Gooding and Edith Swan, who, and Edith starts getting these poison pen letters, which are shocking. Genuinely, this was discussed in Parliament, and the broadsheets, you know, covered it. The nation was glued to, who is sending these awful letters with terrible cuss words? <laughs> and all fingers pointed to uh, the single mother. <gasps> I know. I'm as shocked as you are. I know. The Home Secretary, Mr Edward Short, was compelled to answer a question in Parliament about the ever-growing scandal of the Little Hampton Letters. It's true, <laughs> letters are real, and it's really funny, and it's sort of early trolling. Now numbering over 100, Mr Short called them a national embarrassment. And Jessie, you play Rose. She's quite a liberating character. She's just a free-flowing, says what she wants to say. Um, it was great. She was such a... Oh, she was just like a force of life and uncompromising and I think genuinely wanted to just live, not just for herself, but like for her daughter. And I don't really know if she had any option anyway, kind of. Mm. She was, her heart was on the outside of her skin and yeah. she was just all life. And I guess in our story, there, there, was, there is and was a consequence to a woman like that. Mm. Um, but she was, you know, what she says to her is, oh, don't let them beat you down. Like, don't be who you are and yeah. don't be, there's nothing small about her. So she was just so, it was so fun to play her. I forgive you, Rose. Edith, I didn't do it. My character, Edith, really sort of, we think, wanted to be Rose. Yeah. Rose uh, back then was absolutely shocking. But now, modern day, that's, that's the woman we all want to be. Mm -hmm. We want to be totally open, totally ourselves. I think they were meant to be, destined to be really good friends. Yeah. But society got in the way. We don't want me any more energised. Not unless you want a good bannocking. A physical threat. It's like a trapdoor to hell opens up everywhere you tread. And Jesse, with the kind of modern day of it all, have you ever kind of experienced one of those things where it's like a poison letter or something abusive that no, has come I'd your love way? It. <laughs> I'd be like, what would be who is this from? Well, I'd probably I start sending you letters. Oh, <laughs> <if you> like. <laughs> well, it probably hurt my feelings. Yeah. I put love, colleague, Wait. just a joke. Olivia, what about you? No. Also, I don't look at anything online because I know that I wouldn't find it funny. I, I wouldn't. I just think it would be upsetting. I'm very much. You should always be kind. Always be nice. Well, the old thing, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Wow, you don't so, look at anything online? You don't look I at comments? I can't, no. Because, so, you know, years ago I saw someone said my face was annoying. And it, I, oh, I didn't sleep. Oh, as, as, you how can you do your that? Your face is not annoying. <laughs> You're the your least face annoying. Is stunning and beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I can't <laughs> believe that. Love thy neighbour and I tried. But... How do you think that the young generation will view this? Will they be able to see something yeah. in this yeah. right now, what they're going through? That was 20s, but right now it's yeah, very I much think, alive for them. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, when the anonym... And the, we're not saying anything new, everyone's been discussing it, but the anonymity of saying something cruel to someone mm. with a fake name yeah. and you think <laughs> a little bit of power, it's vile and the upset that's caused and the mental health issues that come from social media. And this is all this does play into it, you know, what was happening then. Mm. The fact that the whole nation were gripped. How can you be so vile and cruel to someone anonymously? <gasps> yeah. We shouldn't lose that shock. Mm -hmm. And it's quite nice for the younger generation to realise where we've come, where we're still sort of, you know, coping and... Where do you think we need to get to? Oh, we need to get to absolute equality from all human beings. We need to get to a place where no one is treated as a lesser being than anybody else. Yeah.